I'm going to show you how to declare and populate a two-dimensional array in VB.NET. I'm also going to look at how you can scan through it and visit every item in turn with a pair of nested loops. Then I'll take a look at how to perform a simple lookup where I scan down a column looking for a particular item and, if I find it, I'll display the whole row. Here's my code then. In the top right, you can see an image of the array that I want to set up. It's worth taking the time to visualize the array before you begin. So with this in mind, I've carefully populated each element using the correct coordinates, which I can see on my image. Now the truth is, you probably wouldn't hard code your data like this. Certainly not this kind of data. What if somebody's data needed changing? You'd have to modify the program. In reality, the data would probably be fetched from a database table or a spreadsheet file. That's something I've covered in a different video. Also, I wouldn't run the initialization code from the button. I'd probably want to populate the array from a database when the form is loaded. So I'm just going to move this initialization code into the form's load event. I can find that here. Form 1 events. And they're all here. I'm looking for load. OK, so any code I place inside this procedure stub will run just before the form hits the screen. Let's move that code. A cut and paste. OK, I'm getting a compilation error here because I need to change where I declare the array. I'm going to move this to the form level so all of my procedures can actually see that array. OK, those errors have gone away now. My array will be initialized just before the form hits the screen. Now that makes this program rather simple. You can see the outer loop is scanning down the Y dimension, so it's visiting the data row by row. But with the inner loop, the value of X grows from 0 to 4, for each value of y. In other words, as each row is visited, each item within the row is visited. So let's see this in action. There we go, there's Barack Obama, the president, and then Kira Knightley, the female British actor. I'm visiting the data row-wise. To scan the data column-wise, it's just a simple matter of swapping these two lines of code. I'm just going to drag that up there. Let's see what happens this time. You can see we're scanning down the first name column, and then we're scanning down the second name column. Now I'm visiting the data column-wise. Let's comment out this code and see how we can display the data in a single message box. I've already written it here. If you look at this carefully, you'll see that I'm just growing an output string every time I visit each item of data. You can also see that I add in a new line constant each time I change rows. So let's see this in action. all in one go. The last thing I want to show you is how to do a lookup. I capture some user input from the form. I'm expecting the user to type a surname. And then I scan down the rows. Notice I've only got one loop here going from 0 to 8 and that the value of x is fixed at 1. So I'm scanning down the surname column. When I find what I'm looking for, I set a boolean flag to true, and I exit the loop. Finally, I output the entire row for that particular surname if I find it. So let's see this last program in action.
There's Bridget Bardot. Let's try somebody who isn't there. 